Now, the manual of Be Evil or How to Be Evil by Black Cat is basically of a universe from Villainous that Black Cat sells you. Specifically, each chapter tells you how to sort of be evil or how to be evil, how to have a henchman or how to be something between anything. But I only focus on chapter 8. But some pair recently, I'm so obsessed, I basically break down almost four parts. Could be a near future 5 because I can't let it go. Keep seeing different ways to expand this chapter. But for some reason, I'm just obsessed with it. But besides that, I will translate the Spanish to English. But it will be not a perfect translation. So it's obvious you can't trust everything exactly because of how the language is done. Both different languages. But of course, you think I should translate a little bit better. Or you think you have your own opinion. How this should be translated. Tell me down below. Let me know. Now, this chapter, part of chapter 8, specifically focus on the different types of heroes who are psychologically the reason why they become heroes in a way they sort of kind of disappointment. But besides that, this section was written by Dr. Flood. The reason why, well, according to the book, or aka Black Hat, he says, oh, it's because Dr. Flood is the perfect person to write this page, aka he was doing nothing, so I forced him, I beat the crap out of him, he doesn't fill this more pages, so I can make more money. That's the reason why he forced Black Hat to do it. I mean, Dr. Fuck to do it. But besides that, before I actually break it down more, my name is Rachel, I like to talk about animation. Not just animation, I do reviews, first impressions, cartoon theories, and sometimes, if I have some spare time, cartoon breaking news. Of course, you like how it's going, you like to help my channel, put a like, comment, and subscribe. That's the only thing you do. If not, that's fine. If you do, thank you, because of you, I am getting close to my main goal of 2,000 subscribers. And yes, I am getting close every single day, people like you who, who put like, comment, and subscribe. Because those little things does really help if you don't notice, but it does. Thank you if you do. If not, that's cool. Now to get started off, the five types of heroes you need, of least the psychology of each hero, sort of breaking down. Now let's get started off the video. Now let's start it off the sort of title they give this section coin, How to Take You a Modern Hero Psychology and Tips and Tricks by Dr. Flood or aka Dr. Flood. But the first example they give is actually Missy. Did I did break down by itself, understanding how she actually thinks in a, a like a video I did a couple of weeks ago. But that type of hero has a category called the self-centered hero. Now the self-centered hero is basically a hero who wants all the glory and fame. But doesn't like to work that hard. Specifically, this hero is actually looking for an easy target. Someone who everybody hates, specifically a villain, so they take advantage to make themselves look good. But they make them so extra dangerous is the fact their own actually simps or fans will actually take the her hatred and give it to you and make sure your life is miserable because she has no control or she or he or they don't have a control of the fans. This is the reason why she is very dangerous. And on top of this, she's there just for the money, not for the honor or glory. That's basically make her very dangerous type of hero. Now let's talk about the next type of hero on the list. The second hero they're using Golden Harp, that sort of specific type of hero, they call him the ego hero. The ego hero is basically a muscle-bound brute who has no brains, no skills, only pure strength. But he is pure pressure to actually fit in and society to do anything he can to be accepted of the society to allow them to be accepted what type of heart of a person they actually are because they cannot deal with their own emotions. They make them very dangerous because whatever society wants them to do, they will do it just to make them happy and accept him. It doesn't matter who is the target, you will be humiliated, destroyed, and killed by this hero. Be warned, this hero is very dumb. This only dangerous thing is he doesn't have common sense and allow himself to be woo by the people because at the very end, he doesn't know what to do. The only thing he knows, knows to do is listen to the crowd. And this is why he's a very dangerous hero to actually fight one on one. That's what makes it sort of interesting because it's not far fetched why Gonya Hart acts this way. He's egotistical. It also adds more about his character 
the why the, why he becomes a hero because he likes the light light the wouldn't it be the people champion awards. Explains a lot of that type of character. Now let's talk about the next character on the list or next type. Our next is basically called the dummy hero. The dummy hero is basically an honorable hero who wants to be the best, who wants to prove he or she or they are actually honest, pure heroes. The only problem with this type of heroes, they are easily being corrupted because how much pressure the society gives them to actually crack becoming certain villains. But they keep going forward because they are trying to be honorable, respected. They are the traditional type of hero who is basically starting to be instinct. And this is part of the basic example why that sort of classic hero is because society less and less actually wants them. They want a sort of modern, kind of classy, sort of social media, self-sassy self, self business type of hero. And in this case, they use Jello as that type. Because if you've seen the original series, that she is sort of a psychic, got fired, and still looking for work for a psychic, or one day getting promoted as a hero. This hero will probably would never make it in the mainstream event of heroes and villains. But she still believes in herself to actually be succeeded. And that's sort of kind of sad and interesting because in this chapter, they keep saying the sort of forgotten classic hero and J-Lo is the only one who fits that type and you can see why it can become sort of extinct. But I found that sort of fascinating, I don't know about you. Now let's talk about the next chapter of this, not next chapter, next type of this hero. Now our next type of hero is sort of the glory hero, the sports hero, or the ego textbook hero. This is the reason why they specifically create this specific new character that I have no idea was this character's name, but he fits this slot. This type of hero is sort of the person who is for more as an athlete, a sport, that he believes he is all the best with a bag of chips, would try everything he can to one up the other heroes and not actually work with the team. It's because it's all about him, his abilities, his strength, his readability of the people. He wants to be the people's champ. But the only problem is, he has a dark secret who he actually hates himself so much. That's what he motivated to be the best. To ignore that negative, negative feedback of himself behind his own mind. Because he must be the best. Never second, never third place, always number one. To prove he is the best of his power set. This, this type of hero is so hard to work with, against or with as a team. But also this type of hero is always the one who crosses the line or become a true villain. Of all type of heroes, this one is sort of the wild card because you cannot predict what he does because he's all about himself. He's more dangerous than the ego hero. The rival hero is sort of kind of crazy. That's the best way to describe. Now the character himself, I have dope. No, I told you very beginning. He's sort of a new type of hero. I, if I have to guess, maybe Cricket, but it doesn't look like Cricket design. It's another hero in Venice. But besides that, you could tell just the image. He's sort of an athlete mentally. That's sort of cliche. He has a basically pain on him, and he can't get rid of it. The only way he could get rid of it is sort of annoy it, become a hero. And I thought that sort of fascinating. The best way to example, he's sort of Homelander from The Boys. And yeah, you've seen that series, you could tell this type of hero is very dangerous. I think probably way too dangerous to actually work with. I don't know about you, this is probably the most scary type of hero I have seen in this top 5 sort of categories. Now let's talk about the next type of hero. Now our final type of this 5 types of hero is called the Justice Hero, the Military Hero, or the Government Hero. This type of hero is born and bred and created in the garment. Specifically, they are trained to follow the law, follow the justice, and actually make sure the law is followed to the teeth. But they only loyal to the garment or country is actually what's created. He will never or she or they or who he will never go outside that specific range. Because of this, 
this one is sort of kind of crazy because it allows him or her all day to actually do very questionable stuff. How questionable? Interrogate you as much worse than Batman. You actually torture you, kill your family, and make sure you get information they actually need to serve their masters. Because at the very end, this hero is a slave hero. Because they only listen to the government. Whatever they say, this is the justice they serve. Once more, you could say this type of hero are basically machine heroes. They don't have emotions or clarity what they're actually doing. They are very dangerous and very deadly. And basically probably easy to be tricked because they do not have common sense. That's why I make them kind of dangerous but different dangerous of the rest of the heroes because you know they do not have a limit. You know their motivations but it's not a good idea if you're the target of that hero because they will do anything they can to please their master, their country, or their state. Yes, that's why is this hero is very dangerous. And that's basically all five types of heroes shown the tips and tricks how to deal with all five types of heroes. Now, my conclusion of this section was actually pretty interesting because I have to remind you, this category is from Dr. Flood and his experience, how he break down each type of hero. Even that I wish it was a little bit longer to get more interesting, but besides that, also ask another good question, if what if Peace has this similar roster to villains and heroes? If they have the hero type, how they're supposed to act, they can easily manipulate their own heroes, how to use them, how to expand them, and how to sell them from the public. And I feel that's just sort of kind of interesting if, if this is true, because it's just saying the villain point of view and sort of the psychology of Dr. Flood, how he breaks down of each hero. But once more, what if Peace has the same thing? It also uh, actually answer a lot of questions why each villain act a certain way and how peace use them it just sort of kind of makes sense in theory this is not canon just a theory but once more but also how fascinating how dr fuck category each one how he knows them how to break the psychology it's sort of interesting in other words but out of that i don't have much to say it's something that it just just fascinating. I don't know you. What do you think about this? You find it interesting, not especially how they use all the characters. Some of I kind of glaze over, like Missy, Sunblast, and and think that's it. And um, Airlock. The only character I kind of did not mention that much is a new type of hero because I wasn't sure that hero who he was. I said it before, I thought it was sort of cricket, but I'm not so sure. It's a new type of hero of this book, so I really don't know his name, what he does, what his deal is. But, once again, I'm fine with new characters because you get more bigger and wider and more interesting of the world of Venice. After that, I can't even say much about it. I just enjoyed this book so much. Now, anything down below, tell me what's your thoughts. I got nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Bye.